the daughter from the GKBC. The first Harrow County video got extremely messed up and my pa is upset, so I am doing this to help him and make him happy again. Uh, so I'll be reviewing these last four chapters of Harrow County. Hi, Tad. <laughs> I hope you enjoy this. Oh, so, um, starts at volume or chapter 29. And we see, when it opens, we see Emmy carrying the bones of a skinless boy. And she's taking him, because um, in chapter 28, uh, Hester ripped out his bones from the muscle of the skinless boy. And she's taking him back to where she found him. And she sets him down, and then it's like the past comes back. And the skinless boy comes back to life. His name is Emmett. Uh, and... He runs back to his mom, and then we see Hester, she's going back to the uh, house where all the people like her live, the family. They're the family, I forgot. And we get this really neat panel of her opening the door to seeing all these scratched out portraits of all the people from the family who are gone now. And Hester, she comes across the family, and they're like, you need us to um, be Emmy. And she's like, no, I don't. And she kills all of them by ripping off their faces, except for Odessa, who turned away in shame because she couldn't face Hester. And Odessa tries to run outside, and while she's running, Hester, like, mocks every member of the family, and then she comes to where Odessa should be, and she's like, Odessa? And she follows her, and Odessa tripped, and she looks up at Hester and is like, you're foolish, you needed us, because Emmy ate her sister Cammy. And now she's p more powerful than you, and Hester just looks at her with this knowing look. Then it um, cuts to Emmy, and she's trying to wash the blood of Cammy off of her. Because, you know, she had to eat her sister to um, get her power. And she just wants to be clean, and even after she washes the blood off, she still sees it in the reflection of the water. Then we see Hester walking through the town, and we see her actual what she actually looks like in the reflection of a mirror. And she comes across Malachi, and they have a conversation and an argument. And then it cuts to um, chapter 30. And Hester is casting the spell, and it's manipulating all the townspeople using snakes. And then we see Bernice, and Bernice is like, oh, she's back. And she goes to find Emmy, because Emmy needs her help, and Priscilla the Hobgoblin stops her. And we see Emmy, and she's trying to stop Hester's snakes, but she can't because they aren't listening to her. Because Hester is more powerful than her now. And, um, Emmy sees some owls, and she's like, oh, well, I could just call these owls down. And she tries, and these bigger, scary owls come. And they eat the other owls, but they also eat the snakes. So, um, that's good, I guess. But, uh, so Hester has brainwashed all the townspeople with her snakes and she creates some these scary monsters and um Bernice sees this and then Hester brainwashes Bernice too and Emmy goes to find Hester and all the townspeople come and Malachi's with her and she's like and he's like you'll be fighting these on your own if you don't want me to hurt them so Malachi helps hold them back but they all start attacking Emmy and in a struggle to survive, she ac accidentally vaporizes some of them, and then she kills a couple of the snakes, and it upsets her, because it's like, that's not who she is. So she walks away, and she goes, and she finds the skinless boy. And Emmy sees, like, the skinless boy, and her pa, and her ma, and the family, and it ends with her talking to Amaryllis, and they're all like, you can beat Hester, but you won't be who you were before you, before Hester came back. So she realizes, like, okay, so I have to change to be Hester. And she goes, and she finds Hester, and she starts to fly. You saw that in the intro that I made. Um, and Hester's like, I respect the sacrifice you're willing to make, so I don't need to be cruel to you. And she says, I'm going to end this. Then, um, chapter 32 starts, and we see Hester and Emmy locked in combat. They're fighting in the sky, and they're 
arguing, obviously, because they're fighting, and Emmy calls down her owls to attack Hester, and she falls to the ground. And during the fight, one of Hester's snakes had bit Emmy, and she heals the wound, and it's really gross. It's really yucky. Uh, and then Hester's like, healing yourself is useless. Um, and Emmy uses her magic to call down to make some mud using some white lightning that she calls down. And the mud people throw another noose around Hester's neck and they're going to hang her again. But they also sense the bad in Emmy too because of Cammy, and they throw a noose around her neck and they're about to hang her too. And Hester says, you can't use my own tricks against me. And she goes to attack Emmy. And Emmy, because she has Cammy, also has Cammy's personality now, is like, if I can't have all the magic, then neither can you. And she expels the magic from her body. And it, like, from her and Hester. And it throws Hester back, and it literally starts rotting her down into this mummified corpse. And then the, you see the family's house burning behind her. And um, then Emmy gets up, and she's walking back to her farm. And she walks past all the haints, and the haints could easily attack her right now because she can't to fight them off. But they don't out of respect for who she was and what she did for them. And she's she um gets back to the farm and she sees that Bernice and Morde Malachi, sorry, are okay. And she's like, "Oh, good, you guys are okay. I'm gonna leave Harrow County. I know it'll be in good hands." And she goes to leave, and you see Mordecai either watching her leave. Or following her. We don't know. And that's where the book ends. I tried my hardest to um, recite what happened in the last four chapters. Because I didn't read the book. I didn't read the story. But I did hear a lot about it. And I was really into it. Just like my pa was. Uh, but so I tried really hard to do this. And I hope you like this video. Everyone. And Tad I hope I did a good job. I hope I did this section justice. Uh, read more.